On screen, believe it or not, is a basic representation of the 5G core network and the access network as well. Now, the core network isn't really like this in 5G because this diagram represents everything as a separate kind of monolithic node, which you could be forgiven in thinking that these are all separate pieces of hardware. But in reality, this is not the case. Much of this architecture, particularly from the core network and particularly from the controlling element of the core network, so we're excusing the user plane function, much of it actually runs as a software process on top of a, a virtual infrastructure. So we use terminology like network functions virtualization or cloud native applications to describe the way in which our elements of the 5G core network are actually implemented in real life. So these network functions, as they are called, run as software on top of a virtualization infrastructure, in other words, a cloud infrastructure. And it's this cloud infrastructure that's responsible for providing all of the compute and the network and indeed the storage resources that they need. They all share access to these resources. And we need some kind of mediation layer to make sure that the different network functions that we have have got enough resources for them to do their job. What we also need, of course, is the interaction between these network functions to be standardized. And we call the 5G core the service-based architecture or the control plane of the 5G core, the service-based architecture, because these network functions offer services to other network functions. So remember, it's a network function, but at the end of the day, it's a software process. And here on the left-hand side of the diagram, we've got a network function offering services to our network function on the right-hand side of the diagram. And when we want to invoke a service, when we want to access a service of some description, then we actually use what's called a service-based interface. So every single network function has got its own service-based interface, which in effect is an API, a standardized application programming interface. So we identify the service that we want and we identify when necessary the actual service operation. And all of this is based on the exchange of HTTP2 messages with often a JSON, a JavaScript object notation payload. So when we talk about this notion of the service-based architecture, we're actually talking about the fact that these cloud-based network functions are offering services to one another. And the final point to note is it's not a free-for-all. So you can't have any network function asking for services from any other network function. There are mechanisms in place within the service-based architecture which ensures that we can control and restrict what network function is asking for what services. Mm -hmm.